All right, next up we're going to show you a three color sparkle paint job using custom shop paints on the blue, green, yellow fade that I did a couple weeks ago. And I found these great custom shop paints, Mystic Blue, Money Green, and Lemon Glow Pearl. And I had already applied this finish once, but using Limba Corinna, way too many gaps, so I had to put some filler on it. I'm going to be using my Harbor Freight airbrush kit here, and these paints are ready to spray and these really go on nicely so I'm going back and recovering the blue and getting that sparkle to sit on nicely so once I had applied the filler and tried to fill in all the gaps just gonna go back over the blue the green and the yellow here and you're gonna start with the darkest color first we'll speed up the video here this is just gonna be a quick vid on how I did this So apply the blue, get all the edges, make sure it's clean, and then we'll move to the green and just start fading in the blue and the green. And just this back and forth motion really covers the body well. I originally put on a coat of sanding sealer and then tried this with too many gaps, so I had to go back and, and add some filler on to, to close those pores. So you can see as I speed up the video here how much uh, paint is going on as I'm applying it. You can see the coverage and then we'll go back here with the yellow. I was really unsure about this lemon green. Not sure how it was going to look on the yellow. thought it was going to be way too green. But as I applied it, it actually set really nicely. So you can see me fading the green then with the yellow. What's nice is I use these cups from TCP Global, these two ounce plastic cups where you can just dump the paint in and spray and you can mix back and forth pretty easy with an airbrush. This really makes this process smooth. So then we gotta do the fade on the side and you just turn the body to the side and begin to fade it in. So I start with the yellow then and move to the green and to the blue. And again these paints are ready for airbrushing and they really go on nicely. So then we'll flip the body over here and apply that on the side as well. Make sure I get a nice fade. So the body has got one coat of two-part poly on it. And you can see how nice this actually turned out once it's been all cleaned up. This is without putting a final finish coat on it. Nice fade, nice glitter all over the body. A little bit of the overspray actually makes this turn out really nice. So then here's the back side before I put any two-part poly on it. A little bit uneven color, and I was hoping as the two-part poly would go on, it would kind of even it out, and actually it did pretty nicely. So these are Sherwin-Williams Auto Paints, got the hardener. And as you apply this, you can see how well the colors turn out here. I was really impressed with the painting and with the coloring. So you can see the front of the guitar looks awesome. This is two coats of the poly. A little bit of orange peel, but i got to sand that off and, and buff it. But really happy with the way this turned out. This was just kind of a screw around that turned into something really cool. So just wanted to show you this quick video of the back here and what the guitar looks like finished. So we'll get this wet sanded and buffed out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next vid. Check out my new website.